Good afternoon, folks. The long-awaited day of laying down the epoxy paint is here. Here are some of the tools you're going to need to do the job with. I chalk-lined the garage door line so I can put some painter's tape down. This will ensure we get a nice crisp edge line. Next, we'll open the color part A of the two-part epoxy and get it mixed up. I've had this paint on my shelf for over five years, but it looks pretty good. It is a little thick. We may want to thin it down with some acetone later. Let's get it in a bucket here and see what it looks like. Instructions say to put part A in first, so we dump that into a five gallon bucket and then we add part B. We're supposed to mix this for three minutes on low. You don't want to interject too much uh, air into it. I added some acetone because it was pretty thick. So I mixed it for about three minutes total and then started pouring it on the floor. Uh-huh. Next, we use a notched squeegee. This is actually something that, uh, it's a painter's tool, and it gets the epoxy laid down, sort of gets it thinned out a little bit on the floor, but not too thin. And then you can come back and back roll it, and as you can see, the roller picks it up and uh, continues the spread. You sort of want to keep the epoxy moving, because if you leave it in a bucket, it'll set quicker. So you want to get it on the floor, keep it moving, keep it working until you get it uh, leveled and, and to your desired thickness and surface texture. By the time I got around to the garage, around the other end, it was getting pretty dry and sticky. So if you try this at home, have a helper help you get the next uh, can ready as you move through. It's, uh, it's doable with one person, but you have to hustle. Next, we put on the color chips. This is the fun part. It's like feeding chickens. You just toss the uh, chips up in the air. The higher you toss them, the more even they fall down on the floor. So I got the perimeter of the garage finished there, as you can see. And then I laid down the middle. And here's what it looks like. I like it. So we'll let that cure. The next thing I want to do is put some polyurethane on top, a polyaspartic product. So stay tuned for the next step of the journey here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate Channel. Good day.